Okay, VS Code Hint, Tip, and Trick of the Week. And this one was actually prompted by uh, James Moberg in the, on the Twitter verse. So he was asking if anybody uses Risk Client by Hao Chao Mao. Is that how you say it? I'm really bad with Asian yeah, I names. Know. I apologize in advance for anyone who might be offended. But uh, I'm sorry. I'm not very good with those names. I'm, I can barely say my own name, apparently, if you ask Americans. So anyway, <laughs> so the Risk Client... Yeah, but- is Gavin hard to say? Um, when I first got here, I used to wear a necklace with baby blocks on it that had my name so I could point to it because nobody could get it right. They called me Kevin and Jevin and Javin and Devin and Jeff. I don't know how they get Jeff out of Gavin, but a lot of people oh, call wow. me Jeff. So whatever. Um, yeah, apparently it is. <laughs> but uh, so 3.2 million installs of this uh, app. Um, and previously, I think we covered this in 2020, so just over like two and a half years ago, it had like 700,000, so quite a lot of uh, growth since. But the cool thing is, it's a REST client that allows you to send HTTP requests and view the response in VS Code directly. Um, so it's pretty neat. There's got a lot of features in here. You can cancel rerun requests. You can use GraphQL query and whatever edit is stuff. You can use curl directly. You can have multiple requests in a single file. Um, you can view the image response in the pane, you know, fold and unfold. A lot of the things that you're used to. Um, the cool thing is that you can save these files along with your code. And that's something that James said is like, um, you can save these .rest files. And basically in your code, you can have a bunch of, you know, all your stuff in there and, you know, don't have to go too far. You can copy, paste, and then just do a final replace on it. So it's much easier to update than like Postman where you might duplicate or something and then change it here and there. So a lot of cool options, but it does have a lot of support. So this is something I've I used a little bit, but not, not much. And I've changed a lot. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. So, um, yeah, you guys might want to, you know, check this out. Um, I think it's a pretty cool VS Code extension and, you know, something if you want to run something straight in your, your editor, it's kind of nice. Um, well, I, I can see the value in um, storing like all your different requests as part of the repo. Um, and then if, you know, someone else pulls it down and wants to be able to test some stuff, yeah, just grab it and go. And Yeah, I mean, look at this demo here. I mean, you just, you just click and then right next to it, it has the response. It, has, it tells you how long it takes to respond. So you got the milliseconds there, um, you know, so pretty neat. And like you got the, like I said, the, the three pound signs between your requests. You can basically set up a bunch of previews and get that data right there. So it's kind of a slick little, little tool. So, nice. um, and yeah, like I said, you can add query strings in there too. And then it has like the multiple line for the query strings to make it more readable. Um, you can do the request headers and bodies and, and everything. It's pretty it's neat. James just posted it's low frills and just works. Gotta love it. Yeah, exactly. You know, and I say I like Postman. I use it all the time and everything else. There's a few other ones out there as well. Um, but neat. Just like I said, sometimes it's nice to have it there. And and again, with Postman, I use Swagger to generate, you know, CB Swagger generates the Swagger documents. I import it into Postman. And then I usually have to go in and wire up the test to order set the, you know, authentication keys and set up some variables or whatever. But I'm sure with this, we can you know, make it a little more flexible. So. Um, and again, having it right in the code is kind of nice just to be able to grab it real quick and away we go. Nice. Thanks, James. Yeah. So again, I've used it, but I got to use it more. I like all of these extensions, so much cool stuff in here. So VS Code, just tons and tons of stuff that you can use. That was our VS Code hint, tip, and trick of the week. Brought to you by Modernize or Die Podcast, CFML News Edition, proudly sponsored by Order Solutions. You can see the new episodes every week on CFML or or on the Order Solutions YouTube channel.